On the left hand side in the properties panel, you will see training validation and test data set by default values. So you'll have to change it as per the assumptions given in the data set. So it has to be 70, 30 and zero. The total should be 100. Now again, connect the stat explore node to data partition node. Now we will run three machine learning algorithms. So there is a mediator tool or a mediator node, which is known as control point. So just take it from utility tab, go to utility tab. The first node from the left is the control point. So just drag and drop control point over here. Connect data partition node to the control point. Now the three models that we are going to apply is decision trees, gradient boosting and regression. So just go to model tab and drag and drop decision trees. Now after decision tree, we will drag and drop gradient boosting node. And then we will search for regression node in the model tab. So regression node is third from the right. So we just drag and drop regression node. Now we will connect control point to all the three machine learning models. So control point to decision tree, control point to gradient boosting and control point to regression. Now we will go to the data assumptions which are given for each of these models. So for example, for decision tree, we have to first change maximum depth from 6 to 10, leaf size from 5 to 8 and number of surrogate rules to 4. Similarly, for gradient boosting model, we will keep maximum depth as 10 and number of surrogate rules as 4. Now for regression, it is given in the assumptions that we have to use stepwise regression. So we will go to the properties panel. And then we will search for selection model. So we'll change it from none to stepwise. After these initial settings are done, we will go to SS tab and then go to model comparison node. We will, so we'll drag and drop model comparison node and we will connect all the three machine learning algorithm nodes to this model comparison node. After this, we will right click on model comparison and click on run. Click yes. Now we will see the results of model comparison. If you see carefully, there are three windows. Below is the fit statistics. Now as per fit statistics, regression is the choice of model amongst the three models based on misclassification rate as the selection criteria. Now this is basically the misclassification rate, which is uh, the selection criteria by default. So suppose if we want to change this selection criteria from say misclassification rate to average squared error, we'll again close this window first and then go to model comparison node, go to the properties panel and from here we will change the default setting from the model selection tab. So selection statistic we will change to average squared error and selection table we will train from train to validation. Then again we will right click, we will click run, we will click yes. And now our selection statistic is changed from misclassification rate, which was default to average squared error. And the selection table is not train data anymore. It is now the validation data set. Again, click on results. Now here, if you see the selection criterion, it is average squared error on validation data set. Again, regression is the choice of model amongst the three models. Now we will go to the output window. We will maximize the output window and we will see the fit statistics table which we saw over there. So again here regression is the choice of our model based on average squared error. Now we will go to data role is equal to train. Now this all these statistics are basically on the train data set. Say for example average squared error, you have ROC index, we have gain Gini coefficient, cumulative lift, maximum absolute error misclassification rate. So all these statistics are there for the three models. If we go to data role is equal to valid. These are the statistics for the validation data set. Average squared error, ROC index, again gain, Gini coefficient, cumulative lift, maximum absolute error, misclassification rate. So these are given for all the three models, regression, tree and boosting. And finally, this is a very important table, event classification table. This actually gives you the number of true positive, false positive, true negative and false negative observations for each set of data that is train data set and validation data set for the three different models. For example, for decision tree, 
the validation data set contains 40 true positive observations whereas train data set contains around 105 true positive observations now this event classification table is very useful for us to understand various metrics like accuracy precision recall specificity so we will just discuss all these four metrics one by one in detail accuracy is nothing but true positive plus true negative upon true positive plus true negative plus false positive plus false negative precision is basically true positive upon true positive plus false positive recall value is nothing but true positive upon true positive plus false negative and specificity is nothing but true negative upon true negative plus false positive so these four optimization metrics are very important for us to understand any end-to-end -end detailed machine learning project in our next video we will see how various tools of statistics can be used in one data set itself for example we can use independent sample t-test paired sample t-test one-way ANOVA two-way ANOVA regression linear regression logistic regression chi-square test of independence and all these models like post hoc test two keys test fisher's lsd test and of course the residual analysis including cook's distance measure studentized deleted residuals and the leverage value method so all this and more we will try to figure out in our next video